Hi there, this is Jen and thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm excited to be participating in a monthly hop and this is a year long hop. Every month we have a different theme and um, technique. And so this month we are using vellum and acetate. So uh, some of us will be using vellum and some will be using acetate. And this is part of a Facebook group called Card Hopping, which has members from another Facebook book group called Handmade Happiness. If you are interested in joining either of those, I will leave those links below. And I will leave a link to the next person in the hop below. So I'm creating four cards today and all of them will be using vellum and I decided to go ahead and use stencils on vellum. I don't know if it's something that I've ever done before and I don't know why I didn't think of it but I think I saw it somewhere and I was like that's an awesome idea um, because for one I love stencils and so this is a great way to use those stencils. And the theme of this month's um, hop is favorite colors. Um, this was a hard one for me. And so what I did was I did this first card in my favorite, one of my, one of my favorite color combinations, which, is, which are the colors yellow, pink, and orange, which are perfectly suited for Easter. But I just love the combination of these colors. So I'm using some Catherine Pooler inks in Limoncello, Party Dress, and Tiki Torch to give me those colors. And you might think that the dye inks won't dry on vellum, but they do. Um, I can't tell you how long it takes to dry. I don't think it's really that long, um, but, but you can always flip it over to the other side. That's a great thing about working with vellum is you can either use the side that you put the ink on or you can flip it over. There's not really a huge difference, maybe a little more subtlety to the colors. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and I have taken a stamp that I've colored up in some Copics and the stamp is by Maker Forte. It's called Spring Gnomes. And one of the struggles with vellum is not showing that adhesive. And so one of the ways that you can hide that is by creating a focal point with cardstock like I've done with this image and um, hiding that adhesive behind that. And tape adhesive is my preference for whatever card I'm making. I don't particularly like using liquid glue, but especially for vellum, vellum does not play well with liquid at all <laughs> or very little liquid. And so I am using tape adhesive behind all of my, or with all of my vellum to prevent any type of warping. I also hit a little bit of that adhesive behind those enamel dots and that will finish off that first card. Um, for this next card, I am again using vellum. The stencil I'm using this time is called Always and Forever by Echo Park, but I believe it has been discontinued. And I love the teals and the blues, um, really love turquoise. And so I'm using some of those green blues and blue colors on this stencil. I'm again using Catherine Pooler. And the colors that I'm using are Daydream, Fiesta Blue, and Mardi Gras. And I'm again just taking my lending brush, um, putting a little bit of color here and there on the stencil. But really you cannot tell that there's any variation in color when it's completed. Um, and I know I just said not to use any liquid, but I did want to use some splatter. And so I'm using my Starry Nights watercolor. And even though I didn't put a whole lot of um, liquid on the vellum, as you can see, it's kind of curled up a little bit. Um, I taped this down overnight. I put blocks on it and it still ended up um, curling up somewhat, which uh, wasn't too bad for this card. So another way to hide your adhesive is to make a busy pattern. So the stencil itself is a busy pattern. And then on that background, I used the stencil again with some Creative Expressions metallic gold ink gilding polish in electric blue and so that kind of gives a pattern on pattern which helps to disguise any adhesive that you would use behind that and the sentiment i added for this one says get well and that is a spellbinder die and then i did add a few enamel dots as well um, but i really love kind of the simple elegance of that card 
Um, for my third card, I am using another stencil from, this one's from Visible Image. This is called Time Tunnel. It's one of my favorite stencils. And purple has been one of my favorite colors for as long as I can remember. Actually, more probably of a lavender rather than a darker purple. Um, so I am taking Pixie Dust and Royal Treatment. They kind of end up blending into each other, and you can't really see any variation in the lighter purple or the darker purple. And for this piece of vellum, I'm going to turn this into a shaker card. So um, what I end up doing is taking a circle die and cutting that center piece out. And I use a piece of acetate for that center. So it's going to be a piece of acetate and then there will be that you can see the shaker mix behind the vellum. And so for that circle piece, I'm just taking my uh, tape adhesive and putting it on the very edge of that circle just to get that adhered. Uh, you can see it a little bit through the vellum, but I am going to take another circle in cardstock and um, hide that. And then I'm also hiding the adhesive with this frame. And so I've just taken some uh, double-sided tape adhesive and applied it to my frame. And then I'm going to add the foam. These are 1 8 inch foam strips. And I double these up to make two layers to make sure that that um, height is enough to make allow my shaker mix to move. And originally what I was going to do with this was... I was going to fold the vellum over on the sides so that I wouldn't need a frame. Um, and so I did score it and you can see those score lines. But part of the problem with vellum, um, especially kind of a thicker vellum, is that it has a tendency to break. And so I didn't end up doing that and chose to use the frame. And then I am taking all of my shaker mix, which I just went all out. I usually am very stingy with my shaker mix, but this time I was like, I'm just going to put a ton on there because I don't use it as I should. And so I think it looks really pretty with that little acetate window and then having the other just behind that vellum, uh, which gives it kind of that subtle look. And then um, I added that white piece of circle cardstock to go around the vellum window. And I added the sentiment that says, today, today I celebrate you. And this is a, um, a photo play uh, stamp and die set called You. Um, and this card, I was just playing around with this, and so I didn't actually do the stenciling on camera, but I used this stencil, and it's a stripe stencil called Mixed Stripes by Scrapbook.com, and I did them in the vertical and horizontal, just using a rainbow of colors. And so I thought it would be perfect for this stamp called Happy Easter, and this is a Maker Forte stamp called uh, Happy Easter Wishes. And so this is just a really simple card. I used a die to cut that out and again i just put the vellum or the adhesive behind the color so it was super easy to hide um, added some enamel dots and adhered those pieces together and that was super quick and easy and that finishes it up for my cards for today and don't forget to check out the link for the next participant in the hop. Um, hope to see you next month. As always, everything will be in the description below. Um, thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you next time.